Hello, I am Dr. Vasan. I am a Euroandrologist uh, practicing at Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Now, anti-aging has always been researched and searched extensively and this is something everybody wants. Nobody wants to age and consequently there have been several mechanisms to make you look cosmetically healthy. You can have a hair transplant, you can have your Botox to your face, you can add uh, lipolysis and liposuction and breast augmentation and whatnot. So you can cosmetically prevent yourself from looking older. But the critical part to stay healthy is if your vascular system ages, then you age internally. So internal aging prevention mechanisms are the most critical for an active, healthy um, life. And that is what we believe. So there's a lot of research which has gone in, in how do we make internal vascular systems healthy. And one of the reasons why people got interested in this was people realized that the penis artery was the narrowest artery in the body. And by looking at those men who have significant erectile dysfunction along with say diabetes or hypertension, can we, and they also looked at whether these men, how many of these men who had erectile dysfunction had they had significant heart disease and they found that some of them had no heart disease and they tried to see whether we can prevent heart disease developing in these men by treating erectile dysfunction. So we do believe now that by a combination of factors, by looking at elasticity, looking at what is called as pulse wave velocity, that is the speed at which the blood travels from point A to point B, we can understand how significantly the elasticity of the blood vessels is getting deteriorated. So primarily what we are trying to see is how do we prevent aging by maintaining that your blood vessel elasticity stays the same as when you are in the 20s to 40s. If we can ensure that the same elasticity exists for you, that means your vessel is capable of taking more blood flow, it can withstand more stress and it can withstand more uh, you know exercise tolerance so essentially internally you don't age and that is the concept of active aging where we are looking at reducing the insult because all body mechanism why do we age because we get stiff our bodies get stiff our joints get stiff the elasticity goes away our skin loses its tone everything is related to elasticity so the prevention or active aging strategy is we can now look at actively predicting who has elasticity loss, who has a higher risk of a heart attack and how early can we predict almost 24 to 36 months before an actual heart attack happens. We can predict who are the men who are at a higher risk of a heart attack. And that's where the lot of research has gone in. A lot of tools have been developed which are non-invasive. That means I don't need to do an NGO. I don't need to do a stress test to identify this is much before an NGO becomes positive, much before a stress test becomes positive. So that's what is called as vascular risk assessment, which helps you understand, are you in a danger zone for a heart attack? Are you in a safe zone for a heart attack? Or where are you? And you can institute uh, therapies to modify it. That is the most important. So this is preventive management.